Hello everybody, it's me Next, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay of NBA 2K13. It's here, association mode, let's go, and I'm I'm doing with Phoenix Suns because I decided, well, they are clubs, but I think Phoenix needs to rebuilding and they need to step out again in that playoffs with Gordon Dragic, Lewis Cola, Gortat, Beasley. We have some pretty good players we need to build around our bench, but I think we might win something this season. Um, first of all, I think we need some point guard to back up Dragic. I know he's a big star, but we don't have good point guards at our bench, so I think Johnny Flynn will be... Oh. Well, that sucks. Well, I think the rotation so far is pretty good. We have Dragic, Brown, Beasley, Scola, Gortat. No big changes in the starter. Dudley on the bench because he will face it. Let he's not he's not a shooting guard. Flynn and Green to back up the players. I think we have a pretty good one, but we need a better power forward because well, Fry is is not is not the best player I think for a substitute. Crazy three-way trades are going on. I just don't know how to put it. Oh god, it's like messing me up a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay. The rocket still declined. God, I need to I need somehow to get a power forward and a center. Because that would be good. Well okay, for now I think this is my final roster. It goes for Dragic and Flynn at the points from the shooting guards, it's Brown, Green and Johnson. Then we have at small forwards Beasley, Dudley, and Jones who will be kicked out soon. And at power forwards we have Scola and Haslam. And then we have Gortat and O'Neal. So I think we might reach something by these players and hopefully we do so. Well, so far we have a pretty good roster, especially the bench. We have a good bench with... Uh, Green, who can shoot good shots from the three-point land, he surely helped us in this game. Uh, but though our defense needs uh, really good work, I mean our defense is just terrible, and especially rebounding. And Gorchad is not reaching to the balls as well as Lewis Cola. And look at this, just random shot by Wesley Johnson, and I got paid with a foul. Well, first of all, I am sorry that I sound so stuffed up. I am sick. You know, it's winter. Stuff like that happens. And second of all, getting back to the game, I think Phoenix, what Phoenix needs is a star player. Because a star player is always needed, and I think Skull is just, well, you know, he's just too old. And I think I might trade him, because, well, I think big trades are going to happen here, so... And I think Scola might be involved in them, maybe some draft picks, maybe even Gortrad, but I'm not going to trade Gordon Dragic. Well, now the holidays are ending, but I'm still going to make more videos for you guys, and especially in NBA-wise, because, well, let's face it, I think you guys like to watch it, and yes, I'm going to continue with Phoenix Suns. We're playing pretty good basketball with Michael Beasley and Danny Green off the bench playing just amazing basketball of course we're losing with four points that's not very good because the defense is lacking but i mean my bench is doing pretty good but my starting five needs to do better well louis kill is having just a terrible day he didn't even make a shot and he got only like two or three rebounds i don't know and well games like that that just make me more and more to trade him well, Johnny Flynn is just amazing, especially with plays like that. We were losing by 12 points, but thanks for him. Thanks for this play, for this man. We are finally back in the game, and we can do something. Well, just when you think you are back in the game, you can win it, but no. You have to do stupid turnovers, then get amazing dunks from your opponents. And, and then you just cannot win. And now I bring you the game review. While looking at an overall game, we lost by 8 points in the last minutes. That kind of sucks turnovers up where the problem by Beasley and all other. Well, Shaman Brown, I gave him the, you know, the starting 5 position, but I didn't expect at all that from him. 5 from 13, only 1 from 5 3 bars. That was a bad game from him. On the other hand, Danny Green showed a very good performance, hitting 5 from 8. Well, Flynn did a very good performance. He got us back in the game. 
Beasley also did good, Dragic, well, I expected more shots from him, 6 points but 7 assists, so he's a good passer overall. Dudley did a normal game, I think, off the bench, Scola, uh, he just did terrible, his defensive work against Lee and Bogut was kind of horrible, Gortat, I, I give him same to him, I mean, Gortat played worse than Scola, and, and he's our main player, so that, that kind of sucks. Well, as I said, I'm going to make drastic changes, and this is one episode. Sorry I didn't show you lots of gameplay, but I think my changes are drastic. Now, for sure, in this season, I think I'm going to have Dragic and Flynn and point guards. Shooting guards, we have James Harden, who's an amazing shooter from the three-point line. We have Danny Green and Johnson, so we'll be fine. Then we have Beasley and Dudley, no changes there. At the power forward, we have Serge Ibaka, who's a big man inside with Haslam. And then we have Greg Oden and Perkins. So, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting season. And for now, guys, I say goodbye.